If you want to be successful at fly fishing with nymphs, if you want to put more fish in the net, there is one thing more important than all else. Yes, it's even more important than the fly that you tie on. You've got to get those nymphs down into the strike zone. You've got to get them down to where those fish are hanging out. The standard nymph rig is a fantastic way to do just that. And today, we're going to walk you through how to set it up step by step. To set up our standard nymph rig, there are six easy steps. This is assuming that you've already got your leader attached to your fly line, which if you need some help with that, I've got another tutorial linked in the video description. With our leader attached to our fly line, we're ready to move on to step number one. We're gonna add about eight inches of tippet to the end of our leader. This is done using a triple surgeon's knot. If you need a tutorial for that, it's also linked in the description. That knot is gonna come in handy later on when we add our split shot. We'll snip off both of the surgeon's knot tag ends and continue on to step number two. Step number two, we're gonna attach our first nymph using a clinch knot. Again, a tutorial is linked in the description if you need it. Step number three, we're gonna snip off a bit more tippet, about 12 to 18 inches. One end will attach to the bend of the first nymph's hook, which leads us into step number four, which is pick out another nymph and attach it to the other end of the tippet. With both of our nymphs attached, we're ready to move on to step number five, which is attach a bobber. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. All right, everybody calm down. It was a joke. Step number five is attach a strike indicator. There are a ton of different strike indicators. Foam, plastic, cork, wool, big, small. They all have their pros and cons, but serve the same purpose. They let you know when a fish eats your nymph. I personally like to use plastic indicators when I'm on bigger, faster moving rivers like the one you see behind me. And if I get to a smaller stream, I'll switch over to a wool indicator to promote more subtle presentation. But if you're new to fly fishing, don't overthink it. Just grab one style and add it to your rig. The general guideline is to put it one and a half times the depth of the water that you're fishing above that first fly. So if the water is four feet deep, you'll put it about six feet above that first fly. If you're a bit unsure about the water depth or if that water is murky, or if you're one of those kids that like to skip math class, totally understandable. Just put that indicator a ways above that first fly and then adjust it as needed. But how do you know when you need to adjust that indicator up or down? We'll talk about that right after step number six. Step number six is optional and it's add split shot. You'll clamp it onto the tippet directly just above that surgeon's knot that we made in step number one. Oh, it all makes sense now. This is gonna stop it from sliding down the tippet while you're fishing. But how do we know when we need to add or subtract split shot and move that indicator up or down? It all comes back to what we talked about at the beginning of the video. We gotta get our nymphs down into the strike zone. When fishing with nymphs, you generally want them pretty close to the riverbed. There will be times when those fish are a little higher in the water column, maybe during a hatch, but most of the time they're gonna be close to the bottom, especially if they're eating nymphs. The great thing about a standard nymph rig is its versatility. If we need to get our flies deeper, we have a few options. First is adding heavier flies. Second, we can move our indicator up. And third, we can add more split shot. I would argue that adding split shot is usually our last resort as sometimes they can make detecting strikes a bit more difficult and they like to get snagged up on the bottom. If our flies are too deep and we need to shallow them up a bit, we'll just do the opposite. Take off split shot, move our indicator down or closer to that first fly, and switch to smaller or lighter flies. Now, if you wanna learn more and put your nymph rig to the test, we'll have an entire masterclass episode dedicated to nymphing later on in this video series. And we also have a pocket nymphing guide, which you can get in the video description. Okay, so fishing with nymphs, it's a good time. But have you ever caught a fish on a streamer? In the next video, we'll add another rig to your tool belt. That's right, we're talking all about streamer rigs. You can check it out right here.